support not to build a cleaner, cheaper, more secure energy system. Groundwater in the Midwest. Why is today different from every other day before this? Today is different because it's time now for the first time to look comprehensively. We have to consider all the costs. Does this pipeline help us? Our well tests uh, for ammonium nitrogen as in. And the EPA says anhydrous ammonia is not supposed to be in our drinking water, but our government agencies like the DNR will not even warn us to test for it. And it's There's a lot of rethinking going on in the street, and I think that rethinking is going to bubble its way up to the leadership uh, at the various state levels and then on up to the national leadership. And I think some of the discussion I'm hearing is that, well, maybe we need to start playing an educational role. Instead of endorsing the least worst, maybe we need to start lifting up all candidates who are actually... Um, moving us forward, and who, especially those who are really moving us forward, not those who are kind of running fast, but sort of moving backwards while they're doing it. I think that would be an enormous leap forward for the climate movement to simply open up the dialogue and allow challenge. It would be a big change, of course. It would be a huge, and you know, Frederick Douglass told us a hundred years ago, Power concedes nothing without a demand. That demand needs to be part of our political discourse. If it's not, we have cut ourselves off at the knees. We don't have time to mess around. It's time to exercise all options here, civil disobedience in the street and in the voting booth. Governor uh, Ramstead said, no, we well, need to plant a grass of you. Keep up the strong good work. We got a delay on this pipeline. Let's make sure we get a no. Then let them change the conversation and call it oil sands. This is tar sands we're talking about. This is our future that we are talking about. Fracking is not a bridge fuel. Bridge to where? Nobody knows. The people aren't even told in Iowa City that the water contains anhydrous ammonia. It's at a high or lower level than upstream, but it's, it's increasing. And with allowing the point source polluters to go on, it gets worse. And my the pipeline is, not is a, it's all going to affect all of us. Yeah, I mean, it it's, it's not uh, uh, specific to any regional place. It's, it's the, the point, planet. I talked to the Secretary of Ag in Mitchell County. Conservation Walk in 2008, and they killed me weeks before, so. and, and they wouldn't even investigate this death. And the rules of the government were doing it. Yes. We were doing it. Miles of high. Miles of high. The pictures of him doing it. Nine minutes of the day was killed. Four boys have been killed. Eight friends have been killed. What are you? Hey, I'm moving. And so I sold yes. that. Yes, there's endangered species and they'll uh, potentially be affected if the Keystone XL pipeline gets built. So it goes right through their migratory pattern. Thank you. What you told us was when we take care of the land, the land will take care of us. Woo! Yeah. If we destroy this land, we will destroy ourselves. Yeah. You know, the polluters, they don't want you here. They, the DNR said, I need to want you here. They don't want your voices heard. They got the lobbyists. They got the super PACs. They've made the campaign contributions. They got this town in their pockets. They have got the situation under control.
also understand that fracking is not the answer. You cannot embrace a technology that displaces existing industries, destroys people's lives, forces them to move out of their home, takes their uh, water source, because when you have no water, you do not have a home.
efficiently that we can cut down the demand on energy to the point that we are not gluttons like we are now. The reason we are driving headlong into more fossil fuels, whether it's coal, they're still doing mountaintop removal, fracking, tar sands, I mean, it goes on and on and on. They're trying to put a giant LPG tank on the beautiful coast of pristine Maine in a little tiny town called Searsport. And it's a travesty.
reporters on us to tell us. This is what we need. We need transparency. We need real information. We don't need the same advertising companies who told us it was okay to smoke in hospitals telling us that fracking is safe. No. We didn't believe you then, we don't believe you now. No fracking, no tar sands. Yes, on innovative technology for our future. We're not inheriting trillions of dollars of debt and water we can't drink. Food we can't eat. This is it. One thing I know having worked in this town. The simple match when it's done. Don't fight for what you want. You deserve what you get. If you don't fight for what you want, you deserve what you get. I have the, the, the honor of working for this president, and I want to direct my message to him. President Obama, all the good that you have done, all the good you can imagine doing, will be wiped out, wiped out by floods, by fires, by superstorms, if you fail to act now to deal with this crisis that is a threat.
forces with all of the people around you. Stop our petroleum addiction. Where are you from? Uh, Randolph, Ohio. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Southwest Michigan, you in the middle of the oh. Barry County dunes. Yeah, I'm south, south. But no, they're selling our dunes for ten cents an acre. No, I mean ten cents a ton. Two, two grand an acre to use for fracking. You can look on the DEQ website. Ten cents a ton. environmental demonstrations in the history of the U.S. this pipeline for 15 months. That means, that means we're closing in on half a billion barrels of oil that we have kept in the ground. That's what you guys have done. But we want to stop it for good, forever. And we want to turn the corner on climate change. 